Hey, how's it going? This is Lewis. If you're still using Windows 7, don't worry. You can definitely get a free upgrade to Windows 10. As you know, the final day for Microsoft supporting Windows 7 was January 14th. So that's not a problem. You can go ahead and upgrade your computer. And that's coming up right after this. Okay, great. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and open up our web browser and let's go to this particular link right here, which I'm actually going to go ahead and put on the description box. That way you can just go ahead and click on it and get started right away. You go ahead and click on the download tool now. Okay, great. That will go ahead and get us this particular windows 10 setup right here before we go on by the way i'm running windows 7 on a virtual box so this is actually windows 7 home edition but it's the same thing if you're running windows professional windows ultimate or you know any version of windows 7 you can go ahead and do the upgrade it doesn't matter which version it is Okay, once you go ahead and download the download tool, this this will come up. Go ahead and accept the terms. And right here it's going to ask you, what do you want to do? Upgrade this PC now or create an installation media USB flash drive DVD or an ISO file. Let's go ahead and click this option right here. This is up to you right here. If you want to go ahead and click this second option, and maybe re-image a computer later you can go ahead and do that as well do it from a DVD or from a flash drive but for this option for this particular tutorial we're gonna go ahead and do it right from here so that's gonna go ahead and start downloading it's gonna take a little bit so just I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and we'll be right back okay there we go it's still working on it it's um it went through the download it downloaded the operating system now this is just going to be the actual windows 10 setup itself so it gathered the updates now it's asking us right here for a product key so that's not going to be a problem go ahead and get your web browser open you open up your web browser and you're going to go to this website right here which I'll be posting the description as well on the on the description box you scroll down you can find the one that says Windows 10 Pro or any other version you copy that product key and you put it right there there you go your product key works you go ahead and click next accept and it's gonna ask us if we want to go ahead and keep our files it's gonna go through the quick updates there and then we're pretty much all set to to install okay right after that prompt you'll get this message ready to install you won't be able to use your PC while Windows installs save and close your your files before you begin so this is what I will go ahead and recommend before you do this try to do a backup within with an external hard drive on your cloud or anything so let's go ahead and start let's go ahead and click on install And there we go it's gonna start the installation process it's about ready to, to begin now if you worked on computers and everything you will know that this is a re-image process that's it this is just the 
operating system itself installing onto the hard drive and it's going to go ahead and restart a couple of times it's going to ask you to put in your password for your wi-fi and that's it so but let's go ahead and go through the whole process that way we can go ahead and see the the com the installation for this new operating system so i'll be pausing the video so we'll be right back okay all right the it's still installing there it's kind of going through the updates and whatnot so okay well the uh, installation process it's still there it's it's still going so it kind of went through the updates and uh, it rebooted a couple of times and but um, it's getting there it's it's getting just about done by just a few more minutes so I'll go ahead and pause the video again we'll be right back okay okay so it's asking us to uh, choose a privacy settings I'll just go ahead and put everything by default but you know it's always good to go and into those particular settings and change that so already so there we have it it's actually loading up the operating system after re-imaging so after downloading well doing the upgrade actually from windows 7 to windows 10 now this is just a matter of of a couple more minutes and it's gonna go ahead and As you can see, this is, let's go ahead and check. There you have it. Windows 10 version 1909, so which is the latest version that actually came out in November of 2019. So that's the way you do the upgrade you do have to give it maybe about a about an hour or so depending on your internet speed and how everything downloads and whatsoever so if you happen to run into any errors or anything like that you know just try to be patient because it does take a little bit of time especially if you have a lot of files on your computer and depending on your processor and everything so you know just be patient give it some time and you should be all set so once again, this is Lewis from Lewis's Geeks World. Please subscribe to my channel, and uh, if you have any questions as mentioned, please send me a message, and uh, I'll get back to you. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a great one.